Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place to go for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, importing your video clips into Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's start exactly where you will start and that's with a compact flash card and importing our graphics in or our videos into Premiere Pro. Now there's no difference in getting your stuff into your computer. Whatever method you choose to move these from here to your computer you can do. I'm going to just take this card directly and I'll just mount it right now. It's going to show up on my desktop and inside Premiere Pro we can access those files directly. We don't have to transcode them. That's a, a term commonly used for converting files. We can uh, use these natively just like we can use RED, ARRI, uh, Cinema DNG, Blackmagic Camera, you name it right on the on the timeline native dropped in. Let's go have a look. So here is Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to start by creating a new project or I could open up a, a previous project and I'll call this one day one and just hit OK and Premiere Pro will open ready for me to start importing and the first place people will go is the file menu import wrong don't go there I mean why is it there it's just been there forever there's a better way to do it I'll show you in a second but just remember don't go through file import let's go have a look at the media browser so down here in the bottom behind our project panel if you're wondering how to get these uh, in the front you just click on the name so this is the media browser and you can see right down here that's my Canon file down there double click on that open that up and there are my clips directly and you can see it takes a moment and it builds the preview now this window may seem a little bit small to work with so there's a very magical little keyboard shortcut and that is the tilde key it's the little squiggle key just above the tab key on both Mac and Windows just look at the left hand side of a North American keyboard and hit the tilde key or you can click right in here and maximize the group if you want and it makes that window large down at the bottom you can look at this as a list and you can look at this as a thumbnail and when you're in list view you can organize this uh, several different ways so if you click inside here you can edit the columns and the columns are different depending on which format you're using so if you're using something like Canon RAW you'll have less formats if you're using AVC HD you have a few more formats and all of this falls under the category of metadata but you know what I never use any of that. I just look at my files, make sure they're the right ones and import them. So these are my clips here. I can move this slider down here and drag this up and make them much larger. In fact, I can move my mouse inside here and move back and forth inside. We call this hover scrubbing. So you can see exactly what's going on. And if you click inside, you'll get a little playhead and you can move that around and hit the space bar and play this. And if there was audio on here, you would be able to hear the audio of these files. I want to show you that you can preview these files. I'm going to get out of uh, this full screen mode. If I double click inside here, it opens on the left hand side in the source monitor. I haven't imported these clips inside here yet. I'm just checking to see if these are the right clips. This is a fantastic way to work when you're on set and you just shot some video and you're not sure if it cuts together with the other cut and you want to do a rough edit or an assembly edit. You can grab this card, remember I'm editing directly off the card, you can grab the card, put them on the timeline, chop them up, look at them, are they right? Great, now we know we don't need any more coverage, we can move on. But be warned that these clips are not imported yet. They're still on the card. So normally you would just import them. And then in this example, I've already imported them and there they are, the same clips. And notice all the other formats inside here from red epic footage to um, iPhone footage to P2 footage, all of this inside here. And we simply just click on it on the left hand side and it shows us all of the information on the right hand side. Even though this P2 folder is actually a collection of multiple folders, it takes us right to that place. So back to my Canon 5D footage, we're previewing this. How do we know we want it? Select those clips, right click and choose import. I can even select them and drag into here and make a new sequence 
hit the space bar and play it. From here, you'll notice in my project bin, I now have all of my clips inside here with a new sequence. That's how easy it is to import your video clips, regardless if you shot on multiple cameras in one, they'll import directly and start to work with it. Well, I hope you found this informative, and if you have, click on the subscribe link for video reveal. If you're not already using Adobe Creative Cloud, then hop on over to adobe.com and download a free 30-day trial. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best. Thank you.